Welcome back to day 13 of this 30 day live case study where I use an AI copywriting tool to answer people's questions on Quora to see by the end of the 30 days if I can get 10,000 views. Now the catch with this is that I've only been spending one hour a day five days a week and I've been using absolutely no backlinking, paid advertising or off-site methods to boost my views. So in other words it's completely organic and pretty difficult. Since our last video, I've actually done quite a lot in terms of preparation for the upcoming weeks ahead because my growth isn't as fast as I want it to be, therefore I need to start taking serious action. So just before I bring you up to date with what I've done, let's go ahead, get our stats from the last 24 hours, log it into the system and then we'll uh, go ahead and start talking about what I've done. Now, just so you know, I have actually answered 40 questions in total, yet it's only showing 38 answers here, which means that I've had two answers disappear, which is quite frustrating because those two answers could have been something good, um, and I've, I've not yet managed to find which answers they are. I, need, I will go through all the questions at some point, uh, but right now I just want to focus on absolute growth and considering it's only two and not like five or ten, uh, that's okay. And you can see that we are now at 1,160, but we've had no more upvotes. So let's just go ahead and log this. We've actually had our highest 24 hour uh, increase in views okay which is really cool uh, so I'm pretty chuffed about that I've removed all of the previous drafts that I saved um, using the uh, pretend paid advertising method finding you know posts which are somewhat viral etc and the reason for that is because I just simply don't like the idea of trying to compete with so many people you've got some posts which have hundreds maybe even thousands of upvotes and I'm coming in trying to compete with that when that's already established. So I feel like by doing that method, I am somewhat uh, setting myself up for failure just by the sheer competition. Then I started thinking, right, let's go into my Quora answer sheet. And I wanted to kind of see if any of these questions are actually ranking. So very simply, I just, I took the question, went over to Google, I pasted it in, and I just scrolled down to see, is there any question related to this or this question in its own right, ranking on the first page of Google relating to Quora. And to my surprise, that actually was. Uh, so here is this question with Quora. But what I noticed is that as I did every single one here, it wasn't actually showing me that question, but it was showing me a variation of that question. And the variation of that question actually had smaller amounts of competition but number one it was ranking on google already and it also had if we just click on this it had people following and it had lower answers so there's still a chance that i can get in which you know why not i feel like that's a much better way of doing things and at least this way i've got a stronger chance of actually being seen upvoted and 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 the next thing i did was I kind of wanted to get faster with the content generation. I feel like I need to be answering more questions, okay? Especially if we're gonna wanna reach the 10,000 mark. So what I did, I actually created a little bit of a template, which was like a quick thing I can copy and paste into Jarvis and then I know exactly what I'm going to be doing and I feel like I'm already getting a good rhythm, but I need to do extra, okay? So as you can see here, this is what I'm simply just gonna replace with a the title. Then it's gonna have the intro paragraph that Jarvis usually creates anyway. Then I'm gonna add an image. Then I'm going to apply the AIDA framework to again, hook people's attention. And then from here, this is i'm going to say hey well what this actually means is this and then i'm going to say and i'm going to give examples in a list style element which is going to be uh, here's what this looks like example one example two example three case study version so step one is this step two is this step three then i'm going to go with here are a few examples of other people doing this just to give some authority to what it is i'm actually saying is uh, real 
and then I'm going to say, uh, and this is going to be speculative, I'm going to try and do this one every few posts. Uh, I'm going to say, I understand this might not always be enough. So here is a live example of me doing this method. So if I have something relating to the topic, you know, on one of my YouTube channels, um, I will include it. If not, I'll skip that out um, and the video will be a backlink to one of my channels. And then the conclusion will be Jarvis created as well. Jarvis is still doing absolutely everything, but I'm just going to copy and paste this template in just so we can quickly uh, start churning out the content. And hopefully this is just a bit more efficient. Now you'll also see that I've uh, got image here. So what I've done, three you know, uh, templates by Jarvis and I just changed a little bit of the text. And then I created three versions just with a different background color for those three templates. So as you can see, same template, same template, just with different backgrounds, and then a little quote, uh, and yep, and then you can see here, okay? Okay, and then with those images, I would just simply pop them in uh, to Quora when the time comes. Now that we have a template, there isn't really much reason for me to be stopping and starting as I create the blog post. So I'm going to do a, a run through of the first blog I create, just so you can see what's going on. And then the rest of the blogs is gonna be done in, uh, it's gonna be fast forwarded, um, just so you can see it's still authentic what's going on, uh, but it just means I can really concentrate and stay in the zone without getting distracted by stopping myself talking explaining etc etc so blog one is going to be explained and then answer two answer three answer four answer five and etc etc is going to be uh, sped across at any point you do get confused just go ahead and leave a comment below and i'll answer you what i'm doing at that point or you can always go uh, check the link in the description uh, below this video and you will be able to go back to all my past videos where i take a i'm a bit slower in the process and i show um the whole mythology of what i'm trying to do and stuff like that first question is can you earn money on youtube without adding your voice and your face to your videos but the first thing i'm always going to do head over to conversion.ai go into the long form assistant available in the tool i'm going to paste in the question I'm going to change the angle slightly generate the title generate ideas okay so here we've generated the title and intro so i'm just going to jump over to this document i'm going to grab all of this going to paste this in like so okay so i'm just going to take this and i'm going to replace it here and then for the title let me just grab the title from settings and i'm going to paste that in like so change it to h1 okay then i i can't add an image in jarvis just yet next we want to go to the aid a framework so power mode here we are description great copy this paste it in okay so next i need to give jarvis the angle so very simply i'm just gonna kind of take the title revamp it a little bit so jarvis can have the angle that i want it to uh, go down so for example uh, the title is earn money on youtube without adding your voice or face so i'm just gonna start jarvis off with earn money on youtube does not mean you need to show your face or, or voice because and then i'm just gonna let jarvis do the rest for me okay so now i'm just going to go ahead and create the conclusion and uh, the way i usually do it is i just take the title go to power mode type in conclusion conclusion and I always start it off with, in this blog post, I've spoken about, and then I put the title there. Generate, okay, paste the conclusion in. Be really happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, paste it in, and then I wanna replace the image with an image. Okay, I actually don't think that's the appropriate image. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and post. Okay, moving on to our second question, which is how do I create sex, uh, a successful YouTube channel in 2021? You've just seen the process. I'm gonna now start speeding through and trying to get as many posts as possible.
Okay, 773 words later and blog post two is done. Let's move on to the next question, which is what are ideas for a YouTube channel where you cannot show your face? This one's a little shorter, uh, only 330 words, but I'm pretty sure it's not one of those answers that actually need a really long uh, reply. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and copy this in and post. Still got 25 minutes left until uh, we finish. We've already done our three answers. Let's see if we can get another two squeezed in. Okay, next question is, what are the best ways to increase subscribers on a YouTube channel without violating any policies or having to pay more? Okay, so you might notice that the text keeps disappearing. I'm not sure what's going on with Jarvis today. I think it's glitching out a little bit. Um, either way, it's always gonna have all your document history here. But a little tip maybe uh, what I've just started doing is every single time, it seems to only happen when I switch between power mode uh, and focus mode and that's every so often it happens. So just before you click one of those buttons, copy everything on the page and then you won't lose any of your styling. So again, another blog post finished. This one's 564 words. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Uh, answer, paste. Okay, and we still have 15 minutes to answer another question. So let's go ahead and get this one. Okay, and that is blog post five. I've answered five questions today, and I actually think they are some of the highest quality answers I've done since starting this case study. Now, I don't know if it's because I've not been stopping and starting, so it's been interrupting my thought process, or that all the templates I've uh, created just to quickly guide me and just keep me on track without digressing or thinking all over the place but either way that's five new answers today and hopefully we can keep that momentum up and you know as I get more comfortable applying the template and going faster and faster and getting smoother with everything hopefully I'm going to reach that seven answer mark hopefully in the next few days uh, either way I'm really excited to see the progress we've been making it's always really important uh, just to stop and appreciate what you've done how you've done it and the progress you've made so thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow